Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Skybound's Transformers, issue number 6. As the Autobots and Sparky scramble for cover inside the Ark, Devastator launches his assault. Cliffjumper, lagging behind, attempts to join the fray, but Carly advises him to find an alternate route into the Ark in search of more firepower. Meanwhile, Starscream revels in the chaos caused by the Decepticon Combiner only to be abruptly silenced when Optimus Prime delivers a swift kick to his face. Seizing the moment, Devastator grabs Prime and hurls him violently, leaving the Autobot leader gravely injured. RC quickly drags Optimus into the Ark while Jazz provides covering fire. In a desperate move, Devastator seizes Ratchet, attempting to yank him out. The Autobots have no choice but to seal the Ark's bay doors, severing Ratchet's leg in the process. Devastator pounds on the door but is halted by Soundwave, who suggests burrowing through the mountain to gain access without damaging their refuge. Obediently, Devastator complies. Cliffjumper and Carly scale the mountainside, reaching an access port on the Ark's rear. However, they soon come face to face with Starscream. Inside the Ark, the Autobots place Optimus on a table, but Ratchet informs them that the damage is beyond his ability to repair. As his strength wavers, Optimus expresses regret for leading his friends on a path of false hope. He struggles to remove the Matrix of Leadership, intending to pass it on, but drops it due to his weakened state. Sparky approaches the fallen Matrix, reflecting on his past and how he wished he could have spared his loved ones from suffering. Placing his hand on the Matrix, he asks Optimus to tell Spike how proud he is before entering the Matrix, revitalizing its energy and healing Prime in the process. Now restored, Optimus vows that Sparky will not be forgotten and promises to protect Spike and the world. Just then, Devastator breaks through the ceiling, but Prime fearlessly grabs one of Devastator's fingers and rips it off. He then combines his Ion Blaster with Megatron's Fusion Cannon, unleashing a devastating attack on the giant. Meanwhile, Starscream pins down Cliffjumper, taunting him with tales of his past atrocities. As they struggle, Carly grabs a nearby Transformer weapon and fires at Starscream. Cliffjumper then seizes the weapon, aiming it squarely at Starscream's head. He admits he's always wondered what this moment would feel like but finds himself unable to pull the trigger. Carly reminds him of all the horror Starscream has caused, but Cliffjumper is exhausted by the endless cycle of violence. His hesitation gives Starscream an opening, and the Decepticon grabs Carly, squeezing her mercilessly. Outside, Optimus maneuvers Devastator to a cliff's edge. As the Combiner charges, Prime slips under him and shoves him over, sending Devastator crashing down on Starscream, freeing Carly in the process. With Devastator incapacitated, the Decepticons retreat, the Constructicons hauling away the battered Starscream. Optimus attempts to make peace with Soundwave, proposing that they unite to save their world. However, Soundwave rejects the offer, flying off with Thundercracker by his side. Back at Farmingham Hospital, Spike awakens. The doctor urges him not to speak, so he scribbles on a nearby piece of paper, Where's my dad? Okay, so where do I even start? This was one hell of a roller coaster from start to finish. Devastator just tearing things up while the Autobots are scrambling for cover. The way Cliffjumper and Carly teamed up was actually pretty clever. I actually like seeing the humans play a role in the action rather than just standing around and screaming. And I thought Starscream getting kicked in the face by Optimus was absolutely priceless. But then it got intense real fast when Devastator started tossing Prime around like a rag doll. The whole situation was just crazy, and then to see Ratchet lose his leg, I mean, you don't usually see that level of sacrifice for the Autobots in stories like this, but it just adds that layer of vulnerability and desperation, and it just gives you that idea that the Autobots are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goal, to stop the Decepticons. Then there was the whole Matrix scene where Sparky sacrifices himself to save Optimus. That's peak Transformers right there. And when he asked Optimus to tell Spike just how proud he is of him, man, that hit me right in the feels. Not only do we witness Sparky's sacrifice, but to end it with Spike asking about his father, you just know there's going to be a heavy moment where Spike needs to process the death of his father, and it's going to be coming up soon. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this issue. Don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more. 
and stay tuned for my breakdown and review of Transformers issue number seven. I'll see you guys next time.